Good morning, everyone. Our psalm of the day today is Psalm 109. I remember a scene from a film called The Witness, where a police officer, played by Harrison Ford, is hiding among the Amish people of Pennsylvania. The scene shows three young boys mocking and abusing a group of Amish young men. They didn't react to the provocation, but Harrison Ford's character did. His first punch broke one guy's nose and the other two ran for cover. Well, this psalm describes the abuse and ill treatment received by David, not just as David, but as the Lord's anointed. With words of hatred, they surround me. They attack me without cause. In return for my friendship, they accuse me, but I am a man of prayer. They repay me evil for good and hatred for my friendship. David isn't like Harrison Ford. He doesn't resort to violence, but to prayer and pretty passionate prayer. But how can we make sense of the curses in this psalm? Verse 8 is quoted by Peter in Acts chapter 1 to refer to Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. May another take his place of leadership. That may give us a key. I think the psalm helps us to understand the abuse Jesus received. David says of his enemy, For he never thought of doing a kindness but hounded to death the poor and the needy and the broken-hearted. As we approach the events of Easter, it's easy to gloss over the hatred and hostility Jesus faced. But think of Judas who betrayed him and Caiaphas who condemned him and the crowds that mocked him. Jesus could have reacted with violence but he was a man of prayer, praying to his Father. It helps us to appreciate the seriousness of sin. Appoint someone evil to oppose my enemy. Let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is tried, let him be found guilty, and may his prayers condemn him. These are the beginnings of the curses called down upon those who hate and oppose King David. It shows how serious a thing it is to hate and oppose God's Son, King Jesus. The consequences are felt not just by the individual, but by those who belong to him too. Jesus pronounced some very strong woes against the religious leaders of his day. You snakes, you brood of vipers, how will you escape being condemned to hell? All this underlines how serious a thing it is to sin against God and reject his Son. And it helps us to see the suffering and strength of Jesus. David prays at the end, I am an object of scorn to my accusers. When they see me, they shake their heads. Help me, Lord my God. Save me according to your unfailing love. Let them know that it is your hand, that you, Lord, have done it. The events of Easter remind us how these words were fulfilled in the Son of David. Jesus knew what it was to suffer scorn, but his Father saved him by raising him from the dead. You, Lord, have done it. What a great saviour he is. He's so great that even sinners can find grace and forgiveness if they repent and call upon the name of the Lord for mercy. And that is amazing grace. Amen.